So we put Iname Death's Aspect onto the battlefield, use its ability to dump all our spirits in our library straight into our graveyard, and then mass reanimate all of them for an instant game winning army. Friends, join me as I cover this crazy combo deck and a totally different control deck in this Budget Commander. Today's video is brought to you by Card Kingdom. And right now you can get this sweet scoop soldier sticker when you order over on cardkingdom.com. Just mention in your order notes that you want a scoop soldier sticker when you check out. Hey friends, it's Tomer and welcome back to Budget Commander. Today we'll be covering a highly requested commander, Kethis the Hidden Hand. Kethis is an elf with expensive tastes. He loves legendaries no matter what form they take. Kethis rewards you for playing legendaries by letting you cast them for one mana less and also letting you play legendaries from your graveyard until end of turn by exiling two other legendary cards. This combination of ramp and recursion is an amazing rate for just a 3 mana commander, making Kethis a fantastic commander for a legendary tribal deck. So sit tight because this deck is gonna be legendary. Legendary tribal is more than just a pile of legendary cards. We have plenty of powerful support cards to make our deck tick. We've got access to insane ramp like Mox Amber, card draw with Reki, the history of Kamigawa, and the ultimate legendary tutor, Captain Sise. Not only that, but we've got some legendary sorceries that end up being huge bombs in our legendary tribal deck. We can exile all non-legendary permanents with Urza's Ruinous Blast, ruining our opponent's boards while leaving our own board untouched, getting all our legendaries back from the grave with Primeval's Glorious Rebirth, or flipping our library directly onto the battlefield with Kamal's Druidic Vow. Legendary Tribal has some insane support cards and a huge pool of legendary cards to choose from, which is great news for us Kethis players. There are tons of directions you can take a Legendary Tribal deck. During my research, I identified at least four strong sub-themes to build around. Plus one plus one counters, life gain, sacrifice, and super friends, with a ton of legendaries that promote multiple categories. However, the main obstacle to building a budget Kethis deck is the price. Legendary cards are often more expensive than non-legendary cards, which makes it difficult to build a powerful, focused deck full of legendaries while on a tight budget. It took me way longer than usual to research a budget Kethis deck that met my quality standards, but in the end, I came up with not one, but two distinct versions of a Kethis deck that are very powerful for their price points of $50 and $100 at the time of this recording. The first deck is Kethis Control. It's a control deck loaded with ramp, removal, card advantage, and late game bombs tied together with tons of tutors. Both lists are looking to grind out our opponents and overwhelm them with sheer value, then claim victory with our bomb finishers. You can find the full decklist linked in the video description below. Kethis Control is a legendary tribal deck with a bunch of sub-themes smooshed together. We spend our first turns ramping and filling our graveyard with self-mill value cards. We control the board a variety of ways, either with targeted removal or mass board wipes. Meanwhile, we're generating a ton of card advantage with a mix of card draw and graveyard recursion. Special mention here goes to Necrologia, by far the best card draw in our entire deck. We can use this card not only to fill our hand with cards, but also our graveyard when we discard down to hand size. As we reach the late game, our army of creatures constantly growing in size with plus one plus one counters will outmuscle the rest of the board, or we're just repeatedly casting and recurring our legendary sorcery nukes with Kethis to absolutely crush the competition. The second deck is a Kethis combo deck, and this is a totally different beast. While our Kethis control deck looks to grind out our opponents over a long game, Kethis combo is trying to set up a fast and decisive win early. I know these lists look absolutely terrible at a glance, but stick with me here. So you may have noticed that the Kethis combo lists are filled with overcosted legendary spirits. Yargle, Kuro, Yumiji, and many other terrible cards fill this deck. What's up with that? Well, the answer lies with our deck's secret commander, Iname Death Aspect. 
When Inami Death Aspect enters the battlefield, we may search our library for any number of spirit cards and put them into our graveyard. Since our deck is loaded with spirits, Inami's trigger lets us immediately fill our graveyard with a huge stack of creatures. Once that happens, we can win numerous ways. The most straightforward way is with Mortal Kombat. We now have more than 20 creatures in our graveyard and we win the game on our upkeep. Simple, but effective. The second way is to mass reanimate all our legendary spirits with Primeval's Glorious Rebirth, Twilight's Call, or Living Death. We now have a lethal army on the battlefield with some additional tricks up our sleeves. The first is Kuro, Pit Lord, and Hirobi, Death's Whale. Kuro has an ability where we can pay one life to give target creature negative one, negative one until end of turn. Hirobi says whenever a creature is targeted by a spell or ability, it dies. So with both now on the battlefield, anytime we target a creature with Kuro's ability, Hirobi kills them instead. So we can immediately kill any creature we want for just one life each, which means blockers won't be an issue for us. If our opponents are low enough or we need some extra life, we can use Kuro's ability on our Kakusho, the Evening Star, making our opponents lose 5 life each and gaining life equal to the life lost this way. We can actually do this an additional time if we then kill Iname as one, exiling it upon death to return Kakusho to the battlefield to kill it off again. At this point, if any opponent is low enough, we can finish them off immediately with Spirit of Night since it has haste and can attack immediately. Even if our opponents aren't dead yet, they're far from safe. To prevent an opponent from wiping the board on their turn, we can sacrifice Yose the Morning Star, making them skip their untap step and tapping some of their other permanents. Or we can make them discard potential answers in their hands with He Who Hungers. And even if our opponents still manage to wipe our board, we're still fine. All of our other spirits will be immediately returning back to our hand instead of staying in our graveyard thanks to Yomiji who bars the way. And then we can immediately dump them back on the battlefield with Myojin of Life's Web. Or we could just let our creatures all die, stay in the graveyard, and then just cast another mass reanimation spell. Whatever works. So the entire goal of our deck is to pull off this combo. All we want to do is ramp, find Iname Death Aspect, cast it from either our hand or our graveyard, dump all our janky spirits in our library straight into our graveyard, and then win the game. It's a one trick pony, but it's a very good trick and it's very powerful for a $50 budget range or a $100 budget range. And that's it for Budget Kethis the Hidden Hand. Kethis has been highly requested and I hope these two brews satisfies the demand. Let me know what commanders you'd like to see covered in a future video by posting it in the comments section below. Until next time friends, see ya! Thanks for watching the video. If you liked it, help us out by clicking that like button down below. And to keep up with the latest and greatest, click on the subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that bell icon to get alerts whenever we have new videos. And if you want to check out similar videos, click on the links here and here.